Number 40. Methanol can be prepared from carbon monoxide and hydrogen at high temperature and pressure in the presence of a suitable catalyst. So now we have letter E out of the bunch. So in this case, they say, what will happen to the concentrations of H2CO and H and CH3OH at equilibrium if the temperature of the system is increased? Okie dokie. So Le Chatelier's principle, first thing is just make sure that we're talking about gases here, but in all these examples, for number 40, it's the same balanced equation. And, you know, they're all gases. So here's the new piece of information. What's going to happen to the system if you increase the temperature? Well, think about it. If something, if you have the temperature rising, right, and maybe it's rising too much, it's going to be way too hot, right? And me, on a, on a hot summer day, right, I'm not going to be outside. I like to be inside, right? Sometimes when it's too hot, nah, I need, I need to go inside. So that's what chemical equilibrium do as well. If something is too hot or you're increasing the temp, you need to shift away from the heat. Now they did say, um, when I, when we did look back at letter A, they did tell me that the Delta H was a negative 90.2 kilojoules. Okay. So we definitely need to know what the Delta H is when we're doing temperatures. Now, the only thing that we really need to know is we basically need to turn this into a heat uh, idea. Remember, when we did the enthalpy chapter, negative for Delta H meant that this was exothermic, right? And exothermic reactions means that you release heat. So if you release heat, would they be still in the reactants or they would be put out into the products? Yeah, the heat's going to be on this side. And that's the only thing that we need to know. I don't care what number it is. I don't care that it's negative 90. I just care that it's a negative number. And now we can basically cancel this out and just focus on this. So now, going back to the temperature idea, if it's way too hot, you shift away from the heat and literally shift away from the word heat. Here's the heat, right? So you would wanna shift away from it. You wouldn't wanna go towards the heat, you would wanna go away. And that is your line, right? You're gonna be doing the reverse reaction. So what's gonna to happen to these three? Well, if I'm going towards the reactants, H2 is gonna increase, CO is going to increase, and what's going to happen to the methanol? Yeah, it's going to go down. And that's the answer. So H2, the concentration of H2 will increase. The concentration of CO will decrease. And then the concentration of the methanol will decrease. And oopsie, did you catch it? <laughs> this should have been increase. There you go. And that is the end. Not the end of this question though. I think we got one more part, but hopefully this helped guys, okay? So stay tuned because we have one more part and then we're basically done with number 40. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit, bye.